Well, hello, and welcome back to another video. Now we're out today on a beautiful sunny day. Um, we're mid-February, and today I've come out to target some rats. Now I've come to a mark today, which the last time I fished here was on the back end of summer. Um, and I haven't been here since. However, I thought we've got small tides today. The tide's dropping, it's about an hour into the ebb. However, it's hardly gonna move while I'm here. Over the next uh, few hours, it's probably gonna move a meter, a meter and a half max. So I'm gonna be fishing into relatively deep water and targeting some wrasse on a uh, uh, Texas rig with some little lures. Now the, the rod I'm using today is my uh, seven foot Savage Gear SG S2. This is a 15 to 45 gram lure rod. Now um, I use this rod a lot for Texas rigging for wrasse because it's got a nice bit of power in the blank. Um, so it really, when, when those rats are taking big dives, especially when you hook the bigger ones, this rod can certainly handle it. Now, ideally I'd have a net. I have a net in my car. I've just got to the mark and realized I left it in there. So I don't have a net today and I am gonna have a little bit of a way to, to lift the fish out, but this rod should handle it, no problem. Now on here, I'm using 26 pound braid um, and I've got a size 4000 Shimano Nasky reel and then just my Texas rig, which is very simple. It's about three foot a fluorocarbon leader. I have a size eight barrel swivel connected to my main line. And then three foot of fluorocarbon down to a nine gram bullet weight, a little bead there uh, to protect the knot and just to also add a little bit more attractant. And then I'm using a size 2.0 offset worm hook just with a cut off old bass lure. This is a little paddle tail here. Um, and I've got lures just like that with me. I've got some little worms, uh, some more paddle tails. So we'll just see how it goes. Now I'm gonna be fishing right behind me here. Um, there's also another set of rocks over there, which if I don't have any luck here, I'll move over to there in a bit. But yeah, we're targeting Ball and Rass. Um, they provide a great bit of sport on some, uh, on some light gear. Really fun to fish for. Now, with it being winter, um, it's not exactly the prime time to be targeting Rass. However, you do still get them about. We get them year round here, just like most of the UK. The water's crystal clear, so it's nice. Um, great visibility for Rass fishing. And also, with it being winter, you're in with the chance of a fairly big one. So, yeah, I haven't been out to target wrasse in quite some time. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. Hopefully, we can catch a few. So, let's talk in more fishing and we'll see what we can find. Now, first things first, I'm targeting wrasse. I want a nice tight drag. You want to give it enough so it can take a bit of line, but I do want a nice tight drag on there. Now hopefully you can see down here, this is what I'm fishing into. Now I am fairly high up to be honest and these rocks are pretty sketchy. They can be difficult to land fish. But I'm literally just gonna start by flicking the lure down there. And any wrasse are gonna be relatively close in or very close in most of the time. So hopefully I can avoid getting snagged up down there. And there is quite a bit of tide here, so only using a nine gram bullet weight. I have got some heavier ones with me, which I can switch up to if I need to. It's only because you get a lot of swell that comes in here. You can probably see it rolling in. It bounces off all the rocks and just creates a big undercurrent. Well, what a start that was. Probably the worst possible start. Second cast, snagged up, couldn't get it back. So, on with a different rig. Or a new rig, should I say. However, this one's got a heavier weight on it. This is 12 grams, so should get a bit more feel in this one. Just had my first hit then. Little rats having a go at it. I've just got to be careful when bringing the lure up because I don't want the braids scraping against these rocks here. Just flicked it down there. Let it go as close to the bottom as possible.
Come on, the rest. Where are you? Ah, oh, there's a ras down there. That had to go as soon as it hit the bottom then. Just got to try and keep the braid away from this ledge. If a ras takes the lure and goes under, it could just snap me clean off. I'm getting lots of hits, but they're from, well, from small ras. And the lure I've got on at the moment is, is fairly chunky, so. This here is a Savage Gear sandy or body. I'm going to cut that in half and just use that, that there. That's no longer than an inch long. Hopefully we'll be able to hook up. Right, come on then. Down there. All the hits I'm getting are extremely close in. As in right under my feet, if I was to just drop the lure down there. It's as if the rats are sheltered right in amongst. They're right up close to the structure. And it's as if they're just popping out of holes when the lure jigs past them. Well, all of this effort just to find a ras. Still loads of current, loads of tide. It's really not ideal. Now the big, the big ras love the uh, love a bit of current and underswell. They have these huge paddle tail lures, so they got a lot of power and uh, movement in the water. But it just means it can be really difficult fishing for them. Especially when you're fishing so light with just little bullet weights because the lure just gets swept around. Really hard to keep contact with it. So absolutely no joy in the last spot I was in. So what I've done is I've got about an hour maximum of daylight left just driven down the road and I'm just trying a different mark now it wasn't really because there were no fish at the other place I had quite a few hits in the end it's just the tide was so so strong where I was fishing just could not keep any contact any form of contact at all with the lure it wasn't the best uh, the best place to try really so we're gonna have a quick blast around here and hopefully we can pick up a couple wrasse And we're into our first wrasse, finally. It's only a small one. But a lovely, pretty fish there. Now, if I'm honest, I just lost my, my rig, so I just had to change over. And we got a little ballon. There we go. Such pretty little fish, these. This one's hooked absolutely perfectly. So we'll get them unhooked and get them back in the water. So there we go, lovely little ballon wrasse there. Taking on that little imitation worm. Hooked perfectly. Off you go, buddy. So as I said, I lost my rig just a second ago, so I've just tied on a new one here. I haven't bothered with the bead, I've just gone for a 12 gram little bullet weight and then I've changed to a little worm this time. Um, and yeah, that one seemed to attract that little wrasse, whether it was the same one 
from before, just right in close here. So before that daylight fades, we're gonna have a few more chucks and see if we can find a bigger one. That temperature's definitely dropped now. Now that sun's gone down. It just started to drizzle a second ago, but luckily that stopped. We've got that light fading, so probably gonna give it just another 20 minutes. Rast number two here. Oh. Well, that was a lot deeper than I thought. There we go, just a small one that. I'm gonna move because there's a big wave coming. Oh, there we go, another miniature Rast. in miniature before he slips out my hands let's get him back just seen a rasp follow the lure right in there where's he gone One definitely have a go then. Is he gonna come back? Come on. Yep. Ah. Slowly, gently tap it about. Well, as it's starting to get dark now, I'm gonna call it a day and I'm gonna continue this session, possibly tomorrow. Now, two tiny rats is not worthy of a video and I'm not satisfied, I still want that big ballon. Um, so I think I'm gonna head out tomorrow afternoon, try a different spot. Again, Texas rigging, um, and we'll see if we can find any rats to extend this video and hopefully make it a bit more entertaining. So yeah, I'll see you at the next spot tomorrow. Let's hope we find one. So welcome back to the next day. Now, what a difference the day makes. Um, the weather is completely different today. Yesterday was bright sunshine, lovely clear day. Today it's overcast, we've got drizzle. The wind's picked right up. Um, it's blown about 20 mile an hour-ish from the southwest. Now I've come down to a different spot today um, with these smaller tires. I'm hoping that I can just bounce a lure around in a month, really close into this rocky outcrops in amongst the weeds and pick out a rass or two. So yeah, let's get fishing and see if we can find any today. All right, that one followed it right up. It's a really light brown colored looking one that. Chuck that back down there. Ah. Oh. We've been so finicky the last two days. Where is he? There's another little one down here. I nearly had it that time. 
Now with the big rats, they'll just inhale it. With these smaller ones, it can be helpful. I mean, I know I'm not hooking them now, but when you feel the initial bite, just lower the rod tip. Really let them actually take it because they can just grab the tails and they'll swim off, but then let go because they're not hooked properly. Just like that. Persistence pays off. That could be the little brown ballon rats I saw just before. I'm just casting towards the little outcrop of rocks there. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Another little lovely ballon rats. Well, to say the fish have been finicky, this one was certainly hooked well. There we go, lovely little ballon rass there. Let's get him back. So that's not good. Just went to change lure and my hook snapped. So I'll get another rig on. Thing is, I've only got bigger hooks left with me now, so that's gonna have to do. Right, mate. Little seal pup right down there. Don't scare the fish away. Well, we got this seal doing laps just in front of that little head there. Just see the very top of his head popping up. Only a small little pup. He come right in close here just a second ago. He's right down there. He's having a wonder about ruining my fishing. Well, what can I say? It has proven to be bloody tough to try and catch some rats today. Now, not because they're not there. As you can see those rocks in the distance out there, there's a reef that runs out. And that's where I was, and that's where that little seal just was. So I've walked the whole way across the bay, all around here, and down to this side. That seal is there. I'm sure it's the same one, exactly the same size. Um, yeah, unless there's just a few of them about, but these things are smart. These little pups as well. I don't know, I can see it down there. It's right down just off the edge of that reef there. So whether it's more than one or whether it's the same one, I don't know, but I swear to God they're smart. When they see you fishing, they know what you're after and they'll follow you around. So it's such a nightmare. I've come all the way down the cliffs here and uh, because of the wind blowing in, there's certain areas you just can't really fish. You can't feel the lure at all. With no contact with the lure, it's no point. So I think I'm just gonna have a little five minute breather and then decide what to do. Well, that's gonna do it for this session. Um, it's been very hard work. A whole lot of effort for very little reward, unfortunately. Now, I'm gonna continue these ras fishing sessions over the coming weeks. 
um, when we get some better weather and some good good conditions I'll be out targeting more rest so I'm hoping for that big one this year um, anything from six pound over would be absolutely ideal but anyway it's been tough work um, I hope you've enjoyed the video sorry about the lack of fish we've only managed to find one or two um, but that's just how it goes sometimes now as I said, I'll be out um, in, the, in the near future targeting more rest, so keep your eyes peeled for those videos. Um, until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you do and you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button on this video and I'll see you on the next one.